Skinner is a mini apparatus for flock coating, with which easy electrostatic flock forming can be carried out. The technique for flock coating allows reflection-free surface coating of masks, props, costume, and scenery elements, and also a multitude of design possibilities of smallest details of hair imitations true to nature. Depending on the flock use, soft as velvet or bristly surfaces are also interesting surfaces structures and coloring can be achieved. Different flock lengths, densities and colors provide numerous design possibilities. Even complex skin structures of an animal can be created with the flock coating technology. These images are not a documentation of the last zoo visit, but examples of what kind of realistic effects can be achieved with the flock coating technology. It is hardly possible to make a distinction to the living original. I shall come back at a later time to this breathtaking design technology. Flock fibers differ in thickness and length. The longer the flock is, the thicker the flock should be in order to ensure an optimum effect. The thickness of the flock is referred to as DTEX. Before dealing with the artistic possibilities of the Skinner, the technical bases and general processing rules will be looked at initially. Forming flock will be carried out by charging the flock fibers in the application apparatus with the aid of a high voltage of maximum 70 kilovolts. As only extremely small amperage is used, worries of a health hazard are unnecessary. Despite the enormous high voltage, the process is based on the knowledge that two poles of different polarity attract each other, and the field lines always hit the surface vertically. If the flock is now charged at a pole, here at the high voltage electrode, it flies according to the field lines to the opposite pole, the object to be flock coated. If its surface has been treated with an adhesive, the flock remains standing vertically in the adhesive. Let us now look at this in greater detail. At first, the selected application apparatus will be filled with flock according to the surface size to be coated, and the respective sieve for the flock fibers will be fitted. Then a special adhesive will be applied to the object to be coated with flock. Almost all materials can be coated with flock, for example, metal, concrete, wood, plastic, plaster, gypsum, textiles, polyester, paper, and many other materials. In part, the different materials need different adhesives. Our two component adhesive and dispersion adhesive cover the largest portion of all materials. In addition, the adhesives differ in their processing times, i.e. the time available for flock coating before the adhesive starts curing. The skinner will now be earthed at the surface pasted with the adhesive and the application apparatus will be directed to the pasted surface at a distance of approximately 20 to 30 centimeters. The high voltage electrode will be activated by pressing a button. The workpiece at earth potential and pasted with adhesives attract the flock at a high speed. Due to this, the flock fibers intrude the adhesive vertically. As a rule, the flock will be permanently and durably connected with the object after curing. Even though flock coating has its origins in refining surfaces, the flock technology demonstrates its breathtaking strength, especially in the area of special effects. Mask and costume design. For instance, objects of the props can be made extremely realistic. Skin imitations can be made, which cannot be distinguished from a real skin. Even in this close-up picture, one would not assume the skin generated the flock to be artificial. Generating close to reality structures is a matter of a good mixture of different flock length and flock colors. Bottom and top hair can be simulated astonishingly real. Depending on the size of the area to be coated with flock and selection of certain flock fibers, 
different application apparatus sizes and an appropriate sieve with different perforations will be used. Apart from the standard application apparatus with a size of 12 centimeter diameter, two more application apparatus can be supplied as necessary as accessories with a diameter of 6 centimeters and 18 centimeters. Due to the different sieve sizes, flock fibers of different lengths and thicknesses can be processed. The sieve with the coarse meshes will be used for processing long fo flock fibers to ensure throughput of these long fibers. Short fibers must be processed with a fine sieve to achieve a controlled fiber throughput. In case of a coarse sieve, too much flock material would be applied. This would negatively influence the flock application result. For instance, a calf has been coated with flock. This plastic animal, looking artificial with its smooth and simply painted surfaces, was to be brought to life by flock coating. At first, a two-component adhesive was applied. This is well suited for large areas to be coated with flock, as it has a rather long processing time, meaning the time available for the flock coating process before the adhesive starts curing and does not flock any longer. Here, for the calf's head, the small 6 cm application apparatus allows a concentrated flock coating directed at a small area. Due to the use of this apparatus, also some flock material will be saved. As short flock are used, the sieve perforation is small. The other application apparatuses will be used for respectively larger areas. For this, the application apparatus is simply removed from the skinner and the new one fitted. The needed flock material will be filled into the application apparatus. Depending on the flock length to be processed, the respective sieve will be fitted to the application apparatus. The flock flow will be facilitated by knocking the application apparatus lightly on the ball of the thumb of the free hand. It could happen that the flock material gets lumpy after some time. Blowing with a compressed air gun into the application apparatus for a short time will dissolve the lump. The art of flock coating lies in alternatively using the different flock types with regard to color, fiber length, and fiber thickness that no homogeneous monochrome fiber layer will be generated, but a lively skin marked by top and bottom hair and due to this a skin appearing to be real. In so far, it is important changing an application apparatus filled with different flocks fre frequently during the flock coating process. Every flock type should be applied carefully in order to not block the applied adhesive immediately with one flock type. The meshing of the different flock types generates soft color transition. If strictly borders are desired, a small application apparatus must be used and the already flock coated area must be covered. It is necessary to simulate not only the hair itself, but also the growth of hair in order to imitate a skin realistically. As the skin is marked at certain positions of an animal by whorls in the hair, this typical hair image must also be imitated with the flock coning so that a perfect illusion is created. Here for this work it has turned out perfectly. The underside of an animal has been processed strikingly real. 
If an area has been newly coated with flock, the flock fibers, depending on which adhesive has been used, can be corrected in the directions for a short period. A fiber standing vertically on the adhesive film would only insufficiently give the impression of a skin. In so far, the alignment of the fibers can be carefully connected with the aid of a compressed air gun according to the natural examples. For instance, in the case of our calf, especially the whorls at the blaze and joint positions contribute to the illusion of having created a real skin. Now I will leave you for a moment with the following pictures so that you can follow up in peace and quiet the artistic application of the flock technology and admire the result from the interaction of flock lengths and colors and the alignment supported by the compressed air. Now then, does this not look marvelous? The flock technology can be used in numerous applications. In this way, also beards can be simulated. As the application is absolutely harmless, also flock coating can be carried out even directly on the skin. For this, a face will, for instance, be pasted with prosade. Then flock coating will be carried out directly. The flock coating can be removed again with a very short time with the known removers. Also a complete ladies and gentlemen choir in the Brunswick Staatstheater, State Theater, for instance, has been fitted out in flock technology with wigs for the opera. Tiefland for Ugen de Albert. Bald heads were flock coated and a crew cut effect achieved so that the actors could continue to enjoy privately their natural splendid hair of hair. Also foam and silicon prosthetics can be coated with flock, with which fantastic makeup artistic effects can be achieved. 
As usually, prosthetics will be glued with prosade. It is recommended to apply a primary color to the prosthetics before coating with flock. This ensures that the light material color does not shine through the flock coating. After this, the prosthetic will be coated with adhesive and it is then ready for flock coating. Just like when creating the calf skin by using different flock types and use of compressed air, the influence, the hair growth direction, the illusion of a real fur can be created. If carefully removed from the skin, these parts can be reused for several performances. In the meantime, even body painters are using the flock technology for their work. The special velvet-like surfaces and its reflection-free properties are of the advantage in this case. As you can see, the use of flock technology is very versatile and presents new ways and possibilities in your makeup activities. I think this presentation has aroused also your interest and inspired you for your new projects. If you want further information about the Flock technology, or if you are interested in purchasing a device, please contact us. Better still, visit our Flock Coding Seminar, in which first users of this technology will you give you several tricks and good tips. Please ask us for the new dates. We will be pleased about your visit.